Hello folks, it's Duncan again from Freezing Eagle. I uh, got good news on the build. We're making really good progress. I took today off for a rest day because I've been sore and exhausted from what we've been doing, but uh, it's going well. Uh, now you can see that it's actually taking on the A shape that makes it an A-frame. Um, so over the last week and a half or so since I've put up much of a video, we have had opportunity to get the whole right side plywooded and actually start putting some of the floor joists in for the second floor and we are building out a little dormer on actually it's going to be a pretty big dormer on the right side i'm just going to take a little walk around here <clears throat> and give you some detail on this this is kind of an interesting thing i've built some dormers before but never on a new build usually the ones i've done have been involved uh, just basically building on top of an existing roof and then cutting out what was trapped under and in and behind it. Uh, so this one, we've got some bracing and some wood that's not been put in yet that's uh, standing in there. So some joists that haven't been installed yet. But you can see some basic framing of this. Uh, on a new build, this kind of dormer structure... Uh, you can come right off the foundation. So what we've basically done is built off the bottom plate that the rest of the house is built off of. We actually added some wood to build it up higher to cover the outside edge of this foam. So the wood that we used there was ripped from 2x12s so we could go out over the foam and kind of make this thing nice and tight weather-wise. There's going to be some added wood on the bottom so that plywood will continue across below the dormer. But here you see a structure. It looks pretty rugged. It is ridiculously overbuilt like most of what we're doing. Uh, there's a header across there that will allow a couple of windows to be put in the middle of this dormer, which will be included in the bedroom on the first floor. And you can see what we've done is extended the joist box that'll carry the second floor out onto the header so what you see is framing that will allow plywood to be installed. There's a few pieces missing still. Um, so you're going to have a couple of windows in this dormer facing out. And when we get to the second floor, this is going to continue on up and become really very large. In fact, if you look up at the ridge, I'll try to zoom this a little bit. Uh, what you see up here, that's the actual ridge carrying the main roof. And on this side, there's going to be a ridge coming out right off of that this, in this direction out to and beyond where this header is up there. So that's a full 12 feet plus some overhang. So that's going to be a very large dormer and it's going to make the upstairs bedroom a lot larger and allow for a bathroom on the other side of it. So this is a sort of a design and build as you go project. We've made many uh, changes to the plans so far. And, and I like that. It's allowing some flexibility. Oh, the other thing is I had my son-in-law here a week or so ago, and he was helping me nail off the plywood on the right side. And while he was doing that, I went ahead and we carried on with his porch. He helped me get a couple more pieces of wood on it, and then I just popped the flooring on it. So we just got it delivered yesterday, so we have some extra material that's not been built into it. Uh, laying on the floor here is some joists that are going to go in, uh, though. We ran out of steam yesterday, didn't get them in, but here's the dormer from the inside. So what you're seeing again is a brace and some wood that hasn't been installed yet. Uh, but this is, so the downstairs bedroom, you'll come in off this little porch. I think we're going to, the center, the entry door to the little porch will be in the center, but we're going to kick uh, this little hallway over to the left a little bit because this, the bathroom on the left doesn't need as much room as the bedroom will need, so we're going to make the bedroom a little bigger. And uh, so you see the choice box. I'm looking forward to getting some plywood on this. That will establish the second floor. We'll be able to work off of that platform platform to continue with the dormer. So that dormer is going to be built out into that big empty space. You're going to have a nice second floor up there. And uh, what I don't, so I'll step back here a bit so I'm in a position to demonstrate but one of the things I'm really looking forward to is there's going to be the second floor and it has enough headroom up there actually going to put a ceiling in that bedroom on just part of it and what that will allow us to do is make that little 
triangle looking out at the top have a little floor and it'll go back about six feet which is the amount of space that's represented by the uh, rafters that go beyond the opening on the left of the dormer. So I'm going to put a little floor in up there and put a little ladder or some means of accessing it. Create a nice little little viewing kind of loft for watching the stars at night. Put a little triangular window up there. And then this dormer will actually have the same kind of a roof peak out there and with a very similar amount of room there. So I'm going to find some way to get access to some little loft type areas up there that'll make this thing really unique and quite pretty. Um, beyond that, I think I did show in a previous video, but I'll go on a little more since we're at this. So we did some interesting framing in order to finish up here. I'll just look up underneath here. So you can see up under this and over the staging, we had to do some interesting framing and blocking to uh, allowed this overhang to happen. So the framing that we did allowed this to reach out over the deck about eight feet. So we have an interesting kind of a sunblock type thing going on. And then we'll fill in some of the space under there and probably actually put a V-groove pine soffit under all of this because this blocking looks a little absurd. But in order to have this strong enough to support the weight of the framing going out over the deck, we had to do some extra work. Some of that blocking you see is gonna come out and be replaced by things that look a little more professional, but kind of did what we did to, did what we had to do to get that to be strong enough. So that's kind of a good catch up for where we are now. Uh, this coming week, uh, my brother Al who's been helping me a lot on this is going away for Labor Day weekend and our bodies are pretty well hammered from all the things we've been doing, this and others. and. Uh, demanding some time off so i'm probably going to get out just some hiking over the weekend and of course i'm going to come up here and putter a little bit there's some odds and ends waiting to be done that we haven't gotten to yet uh, we hadn't finished out this plywood last time that i was doing a video so we ended up peeling back that uh, deck armor product which is great it's a breathable tar paper type product but it's viciously strong you cannot rip that stuff it's very hard to even tear it off with the staples we use, which are nothing but normal 3 8 little staple gun staples, but it's very strong. So we finished the plywood up there and uh, nailed it off. So I've just got to get up there over the next few days with a staple gun and some more material. Finish that up. Those are some odds and ends that I'll putter with. And then when Al's back and my son-in-law who's going to be gone as well, uh, when they're back in town, we'll continue. And we'll hopefully, by the next video, we'll have that second floor in and plywooded and and probably be substantially along with that dormer. And it's a big dormer, and it's definitely going to take a little bit of time. Uh, even figuring out the little stuff at the bottom takes some thinking. So you're not doing a lot of mass-producible fast work. This is all custom, figure-it-out-as-you-go-along kind of stuff, which it's very challenging. I, I enjoy it, but, man... Al and I get into, we haven't gotten into a real tiff over anything yet, but you get intensely heated up trying to figure things out. And I kind of hate getting into analysis paralysis where you're just standing there for too long and not doing anything physically. But on the other hand, you don't want to rush and do something wrong that you got to undo. So we're taking the necessary time and thinking it through and coming up with ways to overcome each problem. Any kind of a custom build like this is basically a, a large series of problems to solve and overcome. Kind of like this is what we want to do and see when we're finished. How do we go about it? How do we do it? What do we need? And it all gets really interesting, especially on an A-frame. It's not a typical, I mean, after this, a, a normal stick build or even a cabin would be relatively easy. Dealing with the heights and the angles and all the calculations have made this quite challenging. Now I'm thinking when we get done, if I have the time and means to do something else, I might do a smaller version of this A-frame if we really like the results or make drop back to doing a, a nice little log cabin. So anyway, I wish I were 30 years younger physically and could jump into this at a younger age and do more of this. It's really fun and satisfying. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying following this build and I will keep you up to date next time we have something to report. Uh, other than that, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.